you were expecting to, to achieve or to do with the public health lab? Public health lab. Psychological, the physical, the environmental, the cultural. It's all, these are all part of making um, us healthy. Now, with the public health club, right, we engage targets, like kids in target communities. If these kids uh, uh, come together within the club meetings, they have club activities every week. They, they, they are guided to tackle or to identify a public health issue in the environment. Now, that's why I did ask what help, I asked us on what help. What, what was help now? With a public issue, health issue, they, they are able to identify any issue that they feel that is a problem in the environment. And then they engage, we engage them, they undergo activities that will help them devise um, a strategy to contribute in solving this problem in a sustainable way. So for example, um, one of our kids identified discrimination in their, in their community as, a, as an issue. So what can they do about discrimination? Okay, they said, um, we want to advocate on discrimination as you. We want to let people know that this and this is what they are doing. It's not good. It affects the causes. So how can you do that? So that's when we come in. We engage them. We give them the necessary tools they need. We get the resources for them. They go on fact finding trips. I mean, they get all the tools they need. people that I do allow to enter. If, if it's, it's a nice club, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Not nightclub. Not a restaurant. Uh, yeah, the question is very specific. Nightclub. Nightclub. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it depends. It could be a different a, a nightclub with a difference. Yeah, that's yeah. Not cool. yeah. It could be a nightclub yeah, with a difference. <laughs> tell you the technicalities of PHC mentor or the public health club mentor. What exactly do you do? Your scope of work your duties, probably your responsibilities, some of the materials you need. Yes. And then after that, um, Ashanti's and the accounts, actions. And then here we're trying to define a child. Different definition. An offspring of male and female mama. Are we hearing? So please speak up small. We're trying to define a child. Different yeah, an offspring of a male or female mama. And then a child is someone who is always eager to be And a small, a small human being. A small, I'm a small human being. The <laughs> child is considered to be someone who is still living with his or her parents. Involved. How does he partake? How does he collaborate? Or how is he even engaged in issues? You see, sometimes they make us feel like they are doing us favors. It's our right. I mean, we didn't beg to be born in the world. So it's our right to have all these resources to participate, to actively participate in our communities, in our homes, in our schools, in our countries. Now, the child has a right to his or her opinion. But Charlie, can't go and stand in front of your old man and say, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. uh, not even are you crazy. Master, this idea is wrong. Can you put food on your table? Yes. And this is the mental Thank you, thank you. The mental group. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, no breaking there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Allow her to come and do a freestyle, Charlie. So, so, freestyle. They should do a freestyle. Watch guys here, tell me. Woo! Clap for her now. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun, eh? Yes. Ah, okay. But okay. what are some of the changes you want to see in your community? That's <laughs> <laughs> it. I want my community to be peaceful. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Wow. You see that the kids that we're visiting, the schools that we're going to, we see an improvement in those schools. In those kids that are actually girls, like, spoke to one of them, we shall see that 
the projects that they did, they were not really producing, but it actually helped them, it helps them up to achieve something better in their lives in society. That's what I want to